By the summer of 1955, Makarios's plan was succeeding. Aoka sabotage had attracted world attention to the Greek Cypriots' cause. The British feared that this year, the Greeks would win the United Nations vote. They turned for support to the other country opposed to Emesis, Turkey, just visible 40 miles from the island. If the island became Greek, uh, it would constitute a strategic disadvantage for us. As you look at the map, you can see that the island is like a dagger pointed at the soft belly, underbelly of Turkey. This ideal of Enosis union with Greece was, of course, anathema to us. All the other islands off Turkey's shores were already Greek. Turkey did not want Cyprus to go the same way. But the Turkish government had not yet said so in public. Uh, the first time I was directly involved with this there was... Um, when Michael Stewart, who was, I think, chargé d'affaires of the British Embassy at the time, called on me at the Foreign Ministry, and he pointed out to the fact uh, that uh, this question of Cyprus was getting out of hand, the big movement uh, for Enosis, union with Greece, and what was Turkey going to do about it? Well, uh, acting upon instructions, I told him that uh, we relied completely on the sagacity of the British administration to control the situation. This was an internal problem of uh, the United Kingdom, of the British Empire, as a matter of fact, at the time. And uh, we relied on them to safeguard the life and property of the Turkish community. I think he was rather surprised at this. And I think um, the, the British government hoped that the, Tur that the Turks would take an interest in this to, to form sort of a balance we had reached a situation in which we had to get off the hook. Um, too many people in the world uh, were running off with the impression that uh, here were the stuffy British uh, simply trying to uh, hang on to uh, a colony which um, desperately wanted independence. Uh, and um, here were we horrible imperialists uh, who were denying these people uh, their freedom. Goaded by myself, uh, Harold Macmillan, persuaded Antonin to let him call the Greek and Turkish governments to a conference. At the conference, the Turks were forced to speak out against the Greek demand for Enosis. Britain thus demonstrated that giving in to Makarios would provoke Turkey. Now, she had a respectable reason to stay in Cyprus. Uh, I am afraid uh, all the complications uh, in the present deadlock mainly derive from the wrong policy which uh, the British government has so far followed on the question of Cyprus, and uh, particularly in uh, artificially setting up uh, Turkey as an interested party with the object of countering Cypriot self-determination. I don't think this was uh, our doing, necessarily. We, we leaned on the Turks, we used the Turks, but I don't think we hotted them up. There has never been a time when British sovereignty over Cyprus was more vital than in the present day. The fears and anxieties of Turkey are constantly forgotten. Turkey that ruled Cyprus for 300 years. Turkey that is only 40 miles away from the shores of Cyprus. 